Hey, hello, and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. Yes, I know it's been a while since we did a new homeroom, and thank you for your patience. But we're back at it again. We're doing Student of the Gun Radio, Student of the Gun TV, and, of course, Student of the Gun YouTube and Homerooms. Now, this one we're going to talk about is the Bundy Ranch, or Bundy's versus the Bureau of Land Management. I'm sure you guys have heard about the story. I'm sure you've probably been watching it on TV or what have you. And there's a lot of... Mm, I don't know, controversy or acrimony between people right now. You've got friends and neighbors and people posting online saying, oh, he's a tax cheat and he should just pay his taxes like everyone else does, blah, blah, blah. Well, here's what you guys need to ask. There's a few questions you need to ask your reasonable friends and ask yourself as well. Number one, when it comes to the Bundy versus the BLM, do you still believe in the rule of law? And you're saying to me, well, what do you mean? Of course I believe in the rule of law. Well, now hang on. Do you? Do you believe in the rule of law or you do, do you believe in the rule of emotions and press and spin and propaganda? And you're like, what are you talking about, Paul? Well, here in the United States of America, the way this country was set up, it was set up that if someone is accused of a crime in order for someone to be convicted of a crime, you have to go through certain steps in the rule of law. Now, if you are serious, if you think that Mr. Bundy is a tax cheat or he's a criminal or he broke the law, okay, fantastic. Ask your friends this. Has the uh, Bureau of Land Management, has the government put forth an indictment against Bundy? And you're like, well, what do you mean an indictment? Well, in order to be indicted with a crime, with a felony, you have to go in front of a grand jury. Convince 12 of your peers, 12 of your peers, your fellow citizens, that there's enough evidence to issue charges against you. You say, okay, check. Twelve of your peers say there's enough evidence that we believe charges should be filed. Okay, step two. Charges are filed, warrants are issued, and you're either arrested, given a court date, what have you. Then you go to court, and 12 more of your peers have to hear the evidence and decide whether or not to convict you of that crime. So by the time you get to that point... 24 American citizens, not employees of the state, but 24 of your peers have heard the case. And after that, if you get a conviction, then a judge can decide to punish you. Now, they can punish you by taking your money or your property or incarcerating you or whatever. But according to the Bill of Rights, the Fourth Amendment and the Fifth Amendment, the state cannot take your property lawfully following the Constitution, unless all those steps have been taken. Okay, we, the Fourth Amendment protects you against unlawful search and seizure, and the Fifth Amendment protects your right to due process under law. Now, if the government thinks they have a case, and if your friends are like, oh, that guy's a cheater, they should take his property and fine him and so forth, fantastic, has it gone through the courts and have, has a jury found him guilty? And if that is not the case, ask yourself why. You're smart people out there. Think about it. If they have a case and if he's 100% wrong, fine. Take it to the people. Take it to the jury. Get charges. Get a conviction. If you have a state or a government that is just arbitrarily or based on their own decisions taking the property and cattle is property and money is property, taking that from the citizens based upon their own decisions what do you have? Do you have a representative republic, or do you have an oligarchy, or do you have tyranny? Answer those questions for yourself. Now, for more Student of the Gun, you want to go to studentofthegun.com. Check us out online. You can check out the radio show at podcast, iTunes, IPP. And don't forget about our new mobile app, Google Play, or the iTunes Store. Check it out.